Come on, Twitch. Wake on up. Okay, do we have... Oh, no, no, no. Don't full screen it. Do we have quality options? We do! Okay, cool. Uh, I am streaming at 60 FPS today. Uh, and there's a very good reason for that, because if I can, I would also like to get footage of these new skills. So anyway, this is gonna be a cool stream. Uh, I don't want to say too much about it, because it's just starting and there's like nobody here, but look at that chat. Look at that! Look at that chat! Backstab is lit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Unbelievable improvements to backstab. Like, who even, like, what do you even, who even needs anything else? L look at that. It's freaking, you're done. That's it. Good GG, man. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man, I'm hype. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Dream time crab. There we go. Oh boy, that intro music. Yeah, so welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, big old patch. I actually have to get the patch up. Uh, on my window here because I am not gonna be able to remember all the things that changed absolutely gigantic Unit of a patch unbelievable amount of changes Hey Lunar Lunar with the sub I suppose uh, I, I Suppose this uh, this Business partnership is working out huh Lunar? <laughs> <laughs> joking around. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Um, Alright, so. Lots of stuff to talk about. And I'm actually super glad that... Uh, do you have like a not... Oh no, yeah, the pipe is official, right? So we can DH now. And that's gonna disable everything. But we can DH one? Or two? Okay, two should disable custom. Is that a custom headgear? I almost was certain that was official. Okay, hold on, Chad. Let me let me go to Islude and get a hat. Oh, I should probably grab some. Well, I, I could just sell some stuff. Uh, can I show gear? Yeah, sure. Here's the gear. Uh, not too much to write home about. Uh, just... Uh, is there a hat in this store? Yeah, there's cap. Let's buy that. Okay, but first I gotta sell some stuff. Like these maces. That should get me enough. Stiletto. Yeah, there we go. Now we could buy the cap. Alright, here we go, chat. Moment of truth. <gasps> there it is! We could see the official headgear. Oh, thanks. We could see the official headgear. And if we want to see the customs, we can go ahead and just uh, add DH again. And now we can see customs. If we don't want to see anything, we could do that. But if we do DH2, then we could just see uh, just regular headgear. So you can customize a character how you want uh, without having to deal with, well. Chat, let's have a look at Frontera with uh, DH2 off. Wow, it's looking a lot more like a regular, uh, a regular renewal server. And then, you know, we turn on DH2 off and oh dear. <laughs> yeah, so I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep that off for now. Anyway, okay, patch notes, huge. All right, item additions, massive additions to, uh, Shadow Gears. Lunar has implemented the class shadow gears, and that includes pretty much everything. Uh, the so that that includes the swordsman, merchant, acolyte, archer, thief, magician sets, and these of course combo with the knight, crusader, alchemist, yada yada yada, and they even combo further with like the rune knight, royal guard mechanic, and basically this is like a six set, and when it's all put together, you get a huge bonus. Although. 
some classes, I mean, it's like a push and pull. These are very powerful. I, I actually don't need to level anymore, Electro. I I've got all the characters that I need to showcase stuff, so. Mainly, I'm kind of glad there's a lot of minstrels around because I do kind of want to show off songs. Uh, but I only have a dancer. So anyway, let's um let's head on back to Petites real quick. Just because it's noisy here. Oh yeah, yeah, there are official costumes that use uh slash effects. Oh yeah, Magna Break has changed too. Did Raid did Raid change at all? I don't think so. I should probably look at the patch notes. Okay, so yes, um, Massive skill or class-based shadow gears are released. Uh, they drop in... They drop from world drop, and that's a class shadow box. That'll apparently give you the box of whichever class you're using. Uh, and then they drop from illusion dungeons. So you can look and see which... Uh, which monster drops which shadow gear. And they're also purchasable with uh, Valor badges. So if you're into PvP, you don't have to do any pesky PVM to get those cool shadow gears that you want. So anyway, uh, moving on here. What's after that? Let's see. A uh, bunch of item fixes. Oh, oh, actually, something I did want to bring up. Um, Earthquake now is boosted by EDP chat. Now is boosted by EDP. Oh, it's it's a uh, physical skill now that's magical on the on the the butt end of it. Uh, all right, so Hugo Monster Racing update, huge change here, chat. Uh, you're getting uh, 15 medals for not winning, and then when you win, you get uh, 50 instead. Well, that's really cool. The price, the any price, does go up a bit, but I don't mind that as much. I really don't. Uh, it's going up from 30k to 250k. And considering this is like literally just a time sink, I don't mind spending more money to rapidly decrease the amount of farming that you need to do. But anyway, uh, apparently the knockback on round trip was considered a melee attack and now it's considered a ranged attack. Uh, solar burst, something changed with that. I, I assume that's like the super unlimited solar burst I could do. Uh, this is... Again, these are like boring third job skills. What we're really looking at, chat, is the uh, second... First and second jobs got a huge, basically complete revamp across the board. Uh, so let's test this out. So Magna Break uh, now has like way less after Castellate, and I need to put some items away or on the floor. That works. What is this? Holiday fashion. All right. Noted. All right, put some items on the floor. So as you can see, Magna Break has like way less cooldown or way less after cast delay, but instead has a cooldown. So it has a two second cooldown now and it only has half a second of after cast delay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need a two handed sword for bowling bash. I can get one of those. That's not, that's not a difficult thing to do. We'll go back to Islud and, and go buy a sword. Uh, pouring, you want to help me out here? Thanks, bud. I'm about to cry reading the chat title. I'll explain why Bard is dead. It's a, like Bard got completely changed. It's like a, basically a completely different class now. All right, so let's grab a two-handed sword. Uh, I think, yeah, that'll do, but we're not gonna get that sword. Oh, no, we're gonna have to. No, 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 the Slayer will work, right? Mmm, what about the Katana? Okay, yeah, sure, let's go with the cheap option. All right, Katana, so... Uh, Bowling Bash is probably one of the bigger changes here. The AoE changes to 5x5, five five and you deal more hits, depending on the amount of a targets when you're equipped with a two-handed sword. Oh, thank you. Those work, too. Uh, I guess, yeah, no, the Crimson Two-Handed's best. Well, wait, drop that sword again? That looks sick. Drop that one you just dropped. The one you just picked up. It like It's like, it's like in the ground. Is it, is it Cutlass? Yeah, look at that, look at that. It's like in the ground. Pull the sword from the stone. Boom! <laughs> Neat. 
All right, I got my crimson. Uh, I'll, I'll showcase it with a one-handed just so that you guys can see the difference. So let's put the cutlass back on. So, and then let's go to orc dungeon, I suppose. All right, so bowling bash. It's just regular old bowling bash. Oh boy. What, what a boring, what a boring day this is of just regular old bowling bash. Put on a two-handed sword and look what happens. Oh man, bowling bash is doing a crap ton of damage. And now it does more hits depending on how big the mob you have is. So, Bowling Bash just went from like one of the best second job skills in the game to like literally the best second job skill in the game. My goodness, that is powerful. That is without end now. Just a regular old uh, Crimson two-handed sword. I guess Crimson is pretty high end, but... Like my goodness, chat. Even just like one hitting, it, like 4k damage, my goodness. And then did you get more mobs in there? It does 6k, 8k. Hi Rosa, that's water. Oh, it's a, it's a water crimson? Okay, so maybe I am getting a little bit of damage. All right, so Banish Spear was already, uh, was tested, so... Okay. Well, Undead does have a little bit of extra damage, so I'm not too sure about that. Two-hand Quicken also got a big change. Now it also gives crit and hit. So let's have a look at our, our window here. As you can see, it looks like it's uh, percentage-based, so based on how much crit you have. Because that's level 10, it only give me one. Uh, and then let's take off the hand and see if... Yeah, so it looks like the hit modifier is flat. The critical one, however, does seem to be uh, based on how much crit you already have. And then charge attack doesn't have any cast uh, anymore, but it it gets a little bit of a cooldown. So instead of having a really long cast animation, you just kind of go. Uh, but then you have to wait a bit. So you can't just like FSK all over the place. But you can charge attack, charge attack, charge attack, charge attack, charge attack. It's actually, it actually feels pretty nice. Oh, it works on plants? Oh, dude, it works on plants. I wish I had SP. Let me drop some maces. And sit down a second. It works on plants, chat. Oh, hey, that works. Give me that, give me that back, Chon Chon. Thanks. Perfect. Oh, the plant killer is alive. Uh, still attack speed base spammable? Let me see. No, Bowling Bash got one second cooldown. So, you're not going to be able to spam it. But it does knock back, so it's going to be pretty hard to farm with it anyway. If you were going to spam it. I'd say there might be potential for a build with like Swordmaster cards. Because the, the actual damage that Bowling Bash is doing is going up a whole crap load of a lot. Like, look at that Cart Tornado. I'm doing more than his Cart Tornado, and I'm, like, not even the second job. Like, look at this. So, with, like, Swordmaster cards and stuff, that's definitely gonna be a thing. Uh, maybe... I don't know if it'll, like, outdo Ignition Break, but it might be used as a supplement to uh, Ignition Break. And yes, we're gonna test out Bandish Spear, too, but I have to... Pardon me, I have to go reset and get a spear. So let's go to the office and head on over to... I'm sure I'll check in. Yay, daily rewards. Super novice bowling bash with... Stop trying to make super novice happen. It's not going to happen. Uh, Wait, did I go too far? I think I might have. I think it's on the first floor? Yeah, there it is. Reset, girl. Uh, reset my skills, please. All right, so let's go ahead and just poke stuff here so we get everything. Uh, what else do I need to showcase from Knight? Uh, just Bandish Spear, okay. Or Brandish Spear. Oh, I also need to showcase... Uh, hold on, reset. I also need to showcase Aura Blade. Um... 
a frenzy got a nerf or a berserk. Uh, tension relax. Okay, skills effects removed when the caster's equipment or oh really? So you can't like tension relax and then switch to an archangeling or something, or whatever you might do. Uh, spear dynamo is okay. Yeah, so concentration, spiral, uh, and banish spear. So let's see what I have to get to get those, and we'll just go ahead and rock with that. Uh, let's get Magnum 10, let's get Provoke 10, do Hand 10, why not? Oh no, I'm, I'm eating into my RK points here, or LK points here. Endure. There we go. Chat. Am I the only one who thinks this sword looks like a fish? Please let me know. Who killed the poor bard? Gravity did, man. There's no coming back from that. Alright, so Spiral, Aura Blade, Onsen, Berserk, Tension Relax. Uh, I should probably get Calvary Mastery because I'm pretty sure that's important for Brandish Spear. Looks like an eel? Yeah. Some kind of sea creature. Oh god. DH2. DH2! <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's sell some more stuff. Uh, this, 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 and this, and this. Just need enough to get a spear, that's all. Yeah, that should be alright. Let's go back to Islude. <laughs> Eel sword. Alright, and we'll go and buy a spear. Oh wait, there's no spear here. Uh, the minstrels... They're not good for DPS? Wait, isn't there a separate merchant? A tool dealer? Trading, monster, pet. Hello. Oh, that works. Thank you. Okay, this is going to uh, get a little bit more damage. Oh, right. Let's go mount. Get our Peko and off to Orc Dungeon we go. That's not Orc Dungeon. There we go. Alright, Banish Spear. Please. Please, game, please. And Spiral. Uh, Concentration and Aura Blade. Alright. And that's, that's a pretty big change there. Let's get a mob up here and see how that works out. Ooh, that is a pretty big deal. Like 10k a hit. And with these stats and this gear. Like, that's not terrible. Considering all of the other stuff that, uh... That, other, that uh, spears have going for them. Like, my goodness. Okay, and that's without, uh... That's without concentration. So, let's see. Uh, Frenzy also disables natural HP recovery, uh, recovery five minutes after the effect, so that's a big nerf for that. Um, and Aura Blade, uh, attack increases to effect base, base level times skill level times three. Or, yeah, base level times, uh, skill level plus three. There we go. So Aura Blade is actually gonna give us, like, a noticeable amount of attack this time. As, as opposed to, like, just pretending to. And then Concentration... Uh, let's see. 
Uh, Alright, attack effects increased. Uh, 5 plus 2 times skill level. So at level 5, that should be... Let me have a look here. Uh, 5 times 2 plus 5. Okay, so 15%. And defense is doing the same too. And the duration changed quite a bit as well. So, constant was like never a long buff, but now it's looking like at maximum level, you're looking at about, uh, let's see, plus 20, you're looking at about 60 seconds. I think that's up from 30. Uh, and then it no longer gets removed if you changed equipment. So before it would fall off if you changed anything, um, but now it doesn't. And that, I think that's pretty much it for night. Yeah, huge, huge buff to skill. Spiral. Oh yeah, no, Spiral. We gotta look at Spiral. Okay, Spiral. What happened with Spiral? Uh, alright, base damage. Damage, compensation based on target size have changed. Damage formula affected by base level. So this should be a, a really big buff to Spiral. I mean, it's already doing 27k. Spiral was never a weak skill, like at all, ever. Spiral has always been ridiculously strong. But now it's getting even stronger. Let's try it with a two-handed sword. That's not a two-handed sword. See if it... It still works. Does a little bit less than the Hellfire, obviously. Uh, next, I believe, is uh, we'll probably go over to Crusader. All right, let's uh, let's kill this Drenillier and head on over. Uh, oh, Brandish became ranged? Alright, one, uh, one second cooldown, cast... Oh yeah, by the way, chat, most of these, like, really powerful made skills have cooldowns now, so don't think about spamming them. Uh, if anything, they're going to be supplements to already existing rotations. Oh wow, rip that plant. <laughs> uh, because you're not gonna be able to spam Bowling Bash anymore. However... You could, for example, Bowling Bash into... What's that RK skill? The... Not the... Like, Bowling Bash into Brandish Spear into... Ignition Break, and then back into Bowling Bash, probably. To make, like, a solid rotation. Or if you're a Spear player, you know, you could just... Does... Yeah, no, that still doesn't have a cooldown. So you could probably still spam Spiral. That's probably going to be a really good build. All right, let's character select here, and we'll go on over to Crusader. All right, and it has three skill changes. Uh, there is also some from Paladin I'll showcase as well. Uh, so let's go. On, uh, we'll, I got to drop a bunch of stuff, but actually, do I have anything valuable here? Let's uh, call the storage. And put a lot of our valuables away. Can I please? Oh no, I'm 90 weight. Okay, can I drop stuff here? I can, cool. There we go. And then I can put that stuff away. I don't have to worry about it. And I can just sell all. 25776. And there we go. And now we can go on over to the orcs. That's not the orcs. Here we go. All right, so Grand Cross got changed. It doesn't do self damage anymore, but you still take 20%. But it is like way faster to cast, chat. It was three seconds before. Now it's like, uh, let's see. Uh, variable cast time is 1.5 second. Uh, and now it has one second cooldown and half a second delay of after cast. Yeah, it's super fast now. Although, um, you're not gonna need an angeling card to like survive it anymore because an, an issue that came up with really strong Grand Cross 
is that you'd actually need an angeling card or you'd kill yourself. And uh, that has happened on the stream, actually. Oh yeah, pressure got like super changed. It's now fixed holy, it's not fixed damage anymore. It's now holy magic. Uh, and so there is potential for like a magic pressure build. And I think the, uh, let's see. Yeah, now it's like a bunch of M attack and it's split into three yellow numbers. Uh, damage formula is based on base level. Uh, damage type is holy property magic damage. Uh, the SP reduction is gone. You can't drain SP with it anymore. And it got like way less cast time. So it's actually like usable before your third job with instant casts. So that's cool. And the next thing I'll showcase is there's two more skills I'm gonna have to reset to showcase. And they are shield, uh, shield chain and spear quicken. All right, so let's reset. Oh no, I didn't want to. Oh no, that yeah, that was skills. Fine. All right, cool. Uh, all right, so let's get our HP on. Let's get Bash up there. Magnum break. Dur. And provoke. That's all I need, right? Yeah. All right, so we can get shield chain, and we can get spear quicken and Calvary Mastery. Uh, yes, baby jobs in this in this server are basically transcendence, which is why all of the characters I've created are babies, because it would allow me to skip transing each and every single one of them. So shield chain, oh, I'm gonna need a shield. I do have money though, so let's go back to Islude. Oh wait, isn't there like a bunch of salespeople in the office? I think so. Let's go check that out. I'm pretty sure there's like basic stuff all up in here. Look, armor. Oh, there's a different thing for shields. Okay, good. Alright, so let's just grab some shield and throw that on. The spear quicken. Oh, do I have a spear? Oh yeah, I got a pull axe on. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and spear quicken. Now this also gives critical attack uh, and apparently flee. Okay, wanna skill skill list, please. Let's have a look here. Uh, spear quicken also increases attack speed. Uh, so that is like 10%, like as in gear attack speed. So that'll help you out on your attack speed percent builds. That that'll be real nice. All right, so let me head on over to the orcs and show you guys super long range shield chain from the other side of the world. It's range damage now, which I, you guys know what that means. Remember that time I made a shield chain build and, uh, and then it turns out shield chain was a melee attack and then now it's a ranged attack again, oh boy. Don't I feel great about that? Mm-hmm. Super cool. All right, so I guess next we'll get into Magician. A lot of things change for Mage, my goodness. Huge changes for Mage. Lots, lots and lots and lots of changes. I'm gonna have to reset lots of times for this. Uh, so anyway, Mage. Let's have a look at Mage. Frost Driver. Let's test Frost Driver. Let's test... Uh, let's see. What what honestly can we get? Can we max our bolts here? Hopefully. Uh, I guess, like, the bolts are the same, so I only really need to max one. And it should probably be Cold Bolt, because it's the highest. Uh, Thunderstorm got some pretty big changes, so I'll go ahead and cap that as well. Uh, Soul Strike also got changed. I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, yeah, I can. All right, cool. All right, so Soul Strike got changed. Uh, Fireball got changed. So we're going to showcase that. We're going to showcase Soul Strike. We're going to showcase Frost Driver uh, and Cold Bolt as the Bolt. Could be any Bolt. They all got the same change because they are essentially the same skill, but with different elements. All right, and there we go. 
and thunderstorm so this is mage major 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 mage uh it should actually be like possible to play as a mage class of course oh look how much faster that cast chat whoa you gotta be kidding me my good look at how fast that cast did and i i don't know why i can't cast it again is it a cooldown oh 90 okay that's why Ants are quite the hefty, uh, holders. Look at how fast that casts! No, it's 2k. 2k. 2k damage. See? 2k. Yeah, not 20k. Yeah, no, no, no. That would be way too much. Alright, let's drop some of these maces. I, it's auto loot type, so it's hard to do that. I guess I can minus three, no. A loot type, minus three. Uh, okay, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven. Auto loot, auto, no, no, no. Auto loot zero is on. I'm not looting percentage. I'm looting in auto loot type, and I'm not sure how to turn it off. Minus two. Okay, if I do plus two, and then minus two. Okay, there we go. Should be, should be fine now. Oh, I'm still getting it. Okay, what if I... Minus four, minus five, minus six. Oh, okay. Auto loot type resets. Aha! Thank you, Lunar. Again. No, nope, I'm still auto. <laughs> Wait, what if I auto loot? Auto loot zero. Okay, maybe that was what the problem was. Yes, I'm not getting drops anymore. Okay, cool. Thank you. Lunar, like, basically carrying me. Oh, that's why my chat looks so small. My whole Twitch was in, like, 90% zoom. Alright, so next is... Hold Bolt. Oh, actually, Frost Driver is much faster now, too. Um, and it does... Yeah, you can, like, spam it. My goodness. Like, wow, Mage is actually usable. Okay, I have a kind of lot of decks, though. Maybe I should lower my decks for this, but like, whoa, Cold Bolt comes out like nothing. Fireball is still ridiculously strong. Soul Strike is super fast and spammable. Like, look at that. Ghost monsters don't stand a chance. I'm gonna show Bard, don't worry. Got him. Like, Soul Strike is legit now. I, I feel like I'm going back in time. Alright, so we gotta... Uh, we gotta showcase something here, chat. Lord of Vermillion is now one big hit. So what you can do... You freeze something, right? Hit it with the Lord of Vermillion. It takes a while to cast, but look at the damage. Look at that damage, chat. Unbelievable damage. Tremendous damage. It's still going. 64k. Or 6.4k. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. There we go. And it hits 20 times. Instead of doing a bunch of little hits, is it 40? Let's have a look. Uh, Lord of Vermilion is now 20 yellow number multi hits. And it gets a five second cooldown, chat. Five seconds. Huge cooldown. Unbelievable cool. I don't know why it's doing that, though. 
It's a line of sight thing, maybe? I'm not sure, but that is weird. All right, next is Meteor Storm. And I don't have enough SP, so let's go back to town real quick. <clears throat> That's not town. Well, I kind of need to reset anyway, so I could choke you Storm Gust. So let's, well, might as well we're here. Let's go do that. And maybe drop some of these. There we go. Reset skills. Okay, cool. So safety wall, firewall, frost driver, da 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 da. So the storm gust and LOV combo is back. It it damn well should be. If it's not, well, you gotta you gotta get gravity on the horn and say, hey, you, you're messing me up here, man. Trying to trying to storm gust these mobs and you ain't letting it happen. All right, there we go. So now we can showcase storm gusts and meteor storm. Uh, what else changed from mage? Uh, Earth spike and heavens drive apparently changed, and so did gravitational field of all things, and napalm Vulcan. Ah, uh, yes, napalm Vulcan is a pretty interesting thing actually. I can get them both to four. I, that should be enough. All right, so we're gonna showcase storm gusts. We're gonna showcase Meteor Storm. We're gonna showcase Gravitational Field. Never thought I'd say that, but here we are. And Napalm Vulcan. Uh, Napalm Vulcan, it, didn't, it doesn't get divided by how many monsters are in the AoE anymore, which makes it considerably stronger. Uh, so let's go ahead and go on back to... Let's go to Orc Dungeon. Uh, Meteor Storm again. Casting, like, not super slowly. And look at that damage. But again, has a really long cast delay. But the after cast delay is, like, nothing. So you can actually, like, rotate skills. And create, like, a wall of, of no. Uh, gravitational field. Let's see how that works out. Oh, I need a gemstone for that, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay, Napalm. Ooh, Napalm is looking like a little miniature version of Soul Expansion. Like just a little babby Soul Expansion. Look at it. It's basically Soul Expansion, chat. Look at it. It's got a little bit of a cooldown, obviously, because if it didn't, then everyone would just use that instead of SE. Uh, not really, though. Okay, let me grab a gemstone. Bye, and... Let's see, I still need a yellow for that, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I do. All right, so let's grab a yellow gemstone. Let's grab like three of them and head on back to the orcs. Or not. Does it say? Ah, blue gemstone, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Buy, and we're gonna buy ourselves a blue gemstone. Let's get like 15 of those. And we'll head on back to the orcs. Alright, gravitational field. It ain't fixed damage anymore, chat. Oh. Oh. Am I just stuck now? Okay, let's see. Um. Awkward. You wanna you wanna hit it? Is it is it like Shadow Damn it? No. Shouldn't be. Lunar help! What's going on here? It's fixed to zero. <laughs> Let's try it outside. Maybe undead sir mean do it, I don't know. Uh yes. Uh baby classes in this in this server have trans skills because that's the only way that they can make them equal but they are forced to rebirth essentially yeah I, I don't know why this isn't working oh well it's a debuff now I can cast stuff while I'm doing it Wait, why did I cast Meteor Storm again? 
Oh, because, okay, yeah, so every time you cast a meteor, it actually changes your word back to meteor storm. But you can still cast stuff while you're doing this. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll move on. Uh, it's time for Sage. So Sage got a ton of skills changed. This is this is gonna be a mouthful. Uh, so all of the floor skills changed. All of the and all of the endows changed. So Sage is already a class with a ridiculous amount of skills. Uh, so let's just go ahead and pop Land Protector in, and that'll get us pretty much everything that we need. Any other change? Also, Hindsight got changed, which is auto spell if you're not from Iero. Uh, now you can auto cast Heaven's Drive and Earth's and uh, Thunderstorm. So now you can head and auto spell that. Oh boy. Okay, let's. There we go. And now we should be able to auto spell Thunderstorm. Yes, we can. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Come on, Thunderstorm. Come on, Thunderstorm. Come on, Thunderstorm. There it is. There we go. Hi, John. Welcome to the stream. Just kind of going through these and showcasing these. So it's, it's going to be a lot of talking for this stream, but it's uh, honestly a pretty big change. I can't wait to do a video on it. Uh, because, I mean, look at this chat. Thunderstorm on autocast. That's going to be really good for AoE coverage. And considering these skills have cooldowns now, uh, that is definitely going to make them a lot better. So autocast is going to be real good. And then, okay, so the endow skills. Let's see if I can use them. I need stuff, right? Or can I just... Yeah, I'm gonna need... Yeah, I need a Scarlet... Oh, they use points now! Okay. It's a point merchant. Point merchant is... Point merchant. There we go. Let's grab a Scarlet point. And we're gonna go ahead and endow our weapon. So... Yeah, the catalysts are changed to the point system rather than I believe it was ores before, which are like way heavy and like you don't want to carry those around. Um, duration is changed significantly, so it's like 14 minutes at level two. Let's see how it is at level five. But level five, you're looking at oh, that was frost weapon. Whoops. All right, let's get a let's get a point. Let's get some indigo points. There we go. And we'll frost our weapon up. Or not. Wait, indigo. Is that... Does it not go over? Okay, hold on. What if I do that? Alright, there we go. And indigo point it up. Indigo. And we frost our weapon. So at level 5, it's gonna last 30 minutes. So just like before, but it's not like this big different change so if i remember correctly it was like 10 minutes at level four and then 30 minutes at level five or something no this is the user this is the normal server uh oh go dummy this is this is the real server i just went ahead and leveled a bunch of characters oh hey dummies fireball Yeah, we got some water weapon with thunderstorm autocasts. <laughs> this is not a test server. All right, so that's pretty much all that's changed. Uh, oh, also delusion stuff. So now these use blue gemstones instead of yellows. So I should probably grab some of those. Let's go go ahead and grab those. Uh, let's go ahead and sell first. Got a bunch of maces I can sell for money. And get some blue gemstones. Oh, 
right, let's grab like 10 of those. And let's throw a deluge down. Oh, right. Uh, at go dummy. There we go. Oh boy, that effect. So yeah, I mean, it's the luge. Uh, does it raise my health? It sure does. Uh, what changed with the deluge? Change gemstone requirement to one. Volcano also got attack increase, uh, so... It also increases M attack now. But now the uh, the attack increase is 5. Okay, so it's going to be like 30 at, at top level. And 30 M attack as well. Whirlwind just got the change to one blue gemstone. I believe these were yellow before. So that's significantly cheaper. Uh, the, the rate changes is just for EXP, not looting. Oh boy. There you go, chat. Some autocast for you. Uh, all right, so which scholar skills got changed? Fiberlock, Foresight, and Indulge. I'm gonna need to reset. I mean, resetting on Sage, of course. This has a ton of skills. So Foresight got a huge reduction to cast time. Uh, Indulge now has cast delay based on the level. And Fiberlock does more damage, so instead of getting 50% extra damage, uh, the damage is changed to 200%, so I'm assuming it's double damage now, instead of 1.5. And you can now spiderweb two targets at once. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and reset. And grab Firebolt. Because why else? what else would we test with? Soul Strike. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Just pump it up. Pump it, pump it up. There we go. I just need to get my points. That's it. Okay, good. Now I can get Sage Skills. So we'll get Memorize, we'll get Indulge, and we'll get Fiber Lock. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a spider web. And Memorize. So Memorize is like actually castable now. Crazy, I know. Unbelievable. And that should make the next cast significantly shorter, right? All right, where is Argos? Argos and uh, Warp, Jewel near O10 or 10. There we go. That's that's pretty fast. Let's see, Firebolt. I don't. I still don't think it's making that much of an impact, to be honest with you. I memorize right and that takes a long time to cast and then firebolt isn't that much faster I'm getting spider webs though right okay cool so check it out now I can spider web it does more damage when I firebolt and now I can also spider web twice oh boy big changes here boys big changes and yeah Laura's are jerks And Indulge now has some cast delay. Alright, so that covers the mages. Next we're gonna get into Hunter, and oh boy! Oh boy, Hunter chat! Oh boy! Oh boy, Hunter! Alright, so we gotta get a bird. Gotta get a bird, chat. Let's go get a bird. There's a bird. We got the bird. And... Let's beat. Uh, damage changed to Agi from Int. So, uh, let's test this out, actually. We're gonna do Blitz Beat, and that's gonna do, like, 950. And then we're gonna put Agi to 99. And we're gonna use Attention Concentrate. And... And now it's gonna do 1460. Uh, Auto Blitz deals full damage to all targets, no longer split between the AoE. So when you Auto Blitz with luck, 
if I can actually make that happen. We'll see. That my luck is pretty low here, chat. There we go. It doesn't split anymore. So that's cool. I like that. That's neat. Uh, blast mine. I don't have traps. Oh, but it doesn't matter. The only thing that changed was the cast time. So now it's 0.8 seconds every every skill level. So I guess these were like really long before. Uh, let me let me actually open some Iro Wiki to see. Blast mine. What is your cast time? Does it even say? Okay. Uh, I rate or I arrow wiki, you have failed me. Okay, blast mine is. Ooh, one second fixed cast time. Yuck. Okay, so now that's just all variable, I guess. Because that definitely doesn't seem like one second. And then we're getting right into Sniper. Uh, Falcon Assault has been changed to include base level into account. So let's go ahead and test that out on, I guess, eggs. It doesn't matter. Falcon Assault! Brrr. And here we go, chat. Here we go. The piece de resistance. Auto loot. Uh, A loot type. Reset. Perfect. Sharp shooting. And now just got like way stronger. Like way stronger, chat. So this is a skill that crits. Uh, as you can see, 7k, 4k. It's it's kind of significant. Uh, and it just got like a huge damage improvement. I think before it was, let's see. Uh, I, it's focused arrow strike on Iro, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so going from 3,500 to 1,100, chat. And it also has plus 20 crit now. Actually, I think it had 20 crit before. But this is actually really good now. Uh, it's still spammable. It, and it's gonna do a ton of damage now. I believe it also has base level accounted for. Let's have a look. Uh, yep, it also accounts in base level. Uh, critical chances changed. And now, now it only has, I think, uh, half a second of fixed cast time. Uh, variable cast time changed to one second at all levels. I'm not sure what that accounts for for fixed casting. Let's have a look at that. Ah, okay. Cast time is two seconds on on uh, IRO wiki. So if I do the math or just go to just go to I uh, rate my server sharp shooting it says there's one second fixed cast time Ah, okay, here we go. Uh, cast time, pre renewal is two seconds, fixed cast time is one second. Uh, okay, so it was like all fixed in renewal? I didn't know that. Wow, look at that, at that guy all the way over there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be the real thing. This, the uh, focused arrow strike or sharpshooting is gonna be pretty dang good on Ranger with like unlimit and everything all added onto it. Like, it's gonna be real good if you're in a crit build and you can make it crit consistently. It's gonna be real nice. All right, I think that's it for Hunter. Oh boy. Well, we knew this was coming, chat. This... <laughs> we knew this was coming. All right, so performers got a huge change, chat. Like absolutely massive, huge, humongous. Like the biggest of change, unbelievable changes. Uh, but we're, we can't cover that because I don't do male characters. So instead, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna basically be talking about um, uh, Wanderer instead or Dancer. So Scream or Frost Joker now has a four second 
cooldown. Four second cooldown. It's done. That's it. You can wear market PvP now. Because chat, let's be honest here. Like, Bard has been PvP since it came out. There's no escaping from the frost jokes. And with this delay, well, like with this cooldown in mind, can keep in mind that uh, what's it called? Oh, actually, Electro, uh, party me. Thank you. All right, cool. I can showcase songs now. Uh, yeah. So basically, what would happen if you didn't run? Even if you had a cure for freezing, when you have a dedicated minstrel just spamming Frost Joker at 193 attack speed, which is very easy because they have tools like the Berserk Guitar. Basically, what would happen is you'd see Shura snap in, get frozen, use Gentle Touch Cure, get frozen again. Use Gentle Touch Cure, get frozen again. Immediately, like without fail, because they were just using Frost Joker seven times a second. This allows you to, I guess, kind of like, you know, work with it. You could like freeze something and then hit it with uh, lightning arrows. But honestly, I think uh, this was a long time coming for performers. I don't, I don't think Wander deserved all the nerfs, but I actually think their skills get a little bit better. All right, so hip shaker, uh, flat SP damage tick removed. And uh, now it has a chance of uh, removing a certain percentage of the target's SP every three seconds. So this isn't going to be totally useless in Renewal where, for example, a genetic can get like 10,000 SP. Uh, so now it's based on percentage. So it uh, looks to be about, uh, let's see, let's at max level, Ugly Dance is level five. Okay, so 45% success chance, 20% of SP removed. Not, not terrible. I don't think you'd want to use that, but it's not terrible. Um, the fixed amount of damage equal to the SP removed. So if you end up uh, taking away 2000 SP, you're going to remove uh, 2000 HP as well. Oh, I need a whip. I need a whip. All right, let's go get a whip, chat. Oh, wait, do I have a... No, I don't. Uh, any idea when the more official oriented server will be coming out? Uh, you'll have to ask Luna. I'd, I'm, I'm a, or not Luna, Lunar. I, I'd have to assume it'd be soonish, uh, because apparently after this patch, that's all he's going to be working on. Uh, let's see, instruments and whips. All right, there we go. Let's get just. It doesn't matter. A rope is fine. I just need something. All right, so now I should be able to ugly dance. Oh, I can't use it in this area. Okay, so we're gonna have to, um, I guess just go to anthill and then walk out. I can't use it here either. Oh, wait a minute. Did the dance get changed to PVP only? can only be manually casted in PvP and GVG environments. Oh boy. Oh boy. Unbelievable. All right, here we go, chat. Ugly dance. Oh yeah, uh, adaption to circumstance got changed too. Uh, it actually doesn't, uh, uh, what's it called? Let's see. It's not, I don't believe it's a, um, no longer ends current performances. Uh, added a 20% cost SP reduction it affects all performances within 60, 60 second duration of the skill. So is it a passive or? Yeah, no, you can use it. Oh, hi, Lunar. How do you how do you feel about that? So I assume they they actually expect you to swap now like this. And let's see, humming. 
Oh, sling arrow got changed. Let's have a look at that. It's two hits now. Okay. Yeah, throw that arrow. Not working, chat. These people have too high flee. Oh, I can hit Lunar! Yeah! Uh, did Arrow Vulcan get changed? It sure did. Okay. Oh, the cast animations removed. This is actually a pretty big deal. So let's test that out, actually. Uh, so Arrow Vulcan got changed. No longer does it have a, a long animation that gets you stuck. Just kind of cast it. Or not. Alright, it's whatever. Uh, and it seems to be buffed. It takes level into account. There is like a crap ton of items that uh, that boost damage to Arrow Vulcan, so this might have potential. But I'm I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out on a limb and say, hey, Arrow Vulcan's the future here. I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, let's look at these other songs. Uh, all right, so acoustic rhythm. So pretty much all songs get chased, uh, changed to a, a 32 by 32 AOE. And you just kind of use them and that's it. You don't, you're not locked up. The only thing that's really like a, an old school dance is ugly dance. This is the only thing that seems to be like an old school or like an old style dance. Everything else seems to be minstrel style, new school kind of dance. Uh, and I think Encore still works the same. So if I were to take the thing off, put it back on an Encore, I would do that. But if I were to, for example, use a Fortune Skiss, Encore would just cast that again, right? I believe so. <laughs> oh, Lunar's getting stunned. Oh, I could have, I could have got that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, and then they, these are all just uh, ensembles. Oh, hey, service for you. All right, let's have a look. I mean, this is how skills work now, chat. This is how dances work now and songs. Let's have a look at their effects because there isn't really much I could showcase here uh, because it's just all numbers. Uh, so dance lesson also increases critical uh, crit rate and max SP uh, by skill level and skill level percent. So I'm assuming that that's going to be 10 and 10% and max level. And it also probably makes your songs better. Uh, Hip Shaker, which is Ugly Dance. That drains SP. We've already gone over that. Sling Arrow now hits twice. Uh, it has its variable cast time reduction or variable cast time reduced significantly. Uh, and it has 0.3 seconds of cast delay. <clears throat> that seems to be a running theme. Pardon me. All right, so dances change to 30, 31 by 31 AOE party buff with 60 seconds duration. Uh, changed effect to the caster. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so the they changed the effect so that it does affect the bard and the dancer without needing to be uh, soul linked. <coughs> and you can only have one second job skill at a time. Uh, newer ones overwriting the previously casted song. So you can only have Poem of Braggy. You can't have Poem, Apple, Friggs. Or no, you can have Apple, Friggs. But you can't have Poem, Apple, Friggs, Assassin. You can't have uh, Humming, Forget Me Not, Fortunes. You have to pick one, basically. Which is, oof. Ooh, that's painful. Bard is dead, chat. Crab. 
Claws up, chat. Not even with having three bards. That's actually a good question. Did these have like a, a... They don't have a thing. I'm kind of curious now. <laughs> Rip clown. Hey, Bragista, I know that word. I wonder, uh, let's see. If I leave this party. Oh, I can't make party modifications. Okay, makes sense. Uh, let's see. Can someone please kill me? Kill, please. I need to go test things. Hey, dissonance. All right, that works. That works. A little overkill, but it works. Uh, and if I could get a minstrel to join me outside of Ant Hell, that would be lovely. Honestly, two would be great too. Some more Agi, I guess. Hey! Oh, hey, you can invite me to the party again, Electro. And and this guy, too. There we go. So, if I use... Fortunes, or, yeah, if I use Service for you... And you use Assassin Cross, I'm gonna get some attack speed. Hi, Lunar! Oh! Uh, invite, invite him. He might be on a bard, too. Oh, hey! Bard, uh, bard songs have... these. The songs are still really long, but they're not, like, going over each other. Alright, so Apple replaces that. Sin replaces that. Rip that ant. Did he have both Bard and Dancer songs? Uh, it looks like it, because I do service for you, and the Assassin Cross is still on. Not for you? I mean, I, I think only the Bard songs have uh, icons, because I'm pretty sure they're custom, and who cares about Wanderer songs? <laughs> Only one of each? Okay, so one from Bard. So it doesn't matter if you have two Bards. You can only have one song. So you can only have Apple or Sin or Braggy. Icons, please, Lunar. Uh, and then, uh, which ensemble songs do you have, Jack? Which ensemble? Ooh, Invulnerable Siegfried might be really good. Oh, there it is. That's gonna be all all elemental resistance now? I have to look at that. Ensembles, acoustic rhythm, elemental resistant uh, effects changed to three times skill level. Now it resists statuses, five times skill level. Elemental resistance increased. Only affects earth, water, fire, and wind effects. Uh, static uh, status effects resist increase effects only blind curse frozen petrified so pre -re pre -re, uh, stuff battle theme is attack let's see attack is five times ten plus fifteen uh, 65 attack that's not insanely good Oh, Harmonic Lick is good, though. Yeah, look at that! 20 percent Okay! Whoa, 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 whoa! After cast delay, 20%. So this is like a random one. Yeah, the, the Ring of the Bum 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 Bum. Is, uh, now I could do any of these. So, let's, let's get these back on the screen here. You can see, it's 20% attack, potentially 20% M attack, 
HP, SP, all stats plus 15, hit. I don't know if this works like gospel. I kind of want to grab it just to showcase it. Oh, they only level to five now. Oh, well that makes them a little bit better. Okay. That also means that that doesn't give... That doesn't give, um... You guys don't have the ring of number Nurburger? I can't use it. Uh, you don't have to stand next to it? Okay, just one, just eight by eight. Okay, so performers now have a lot more freedom. You could say they've been longing for it. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, Walking Mistress is going to be cool. I, I still can't use this, but uh, I, I guess it would be a random... I guess it would be a random uh, effect. So it's not going to be for sure, but if you build that correct, you probably get 50% after Castellay. That's kind of a big deal. Like the 20 and then the 30 from Bard. Definitely going to be not a zero thing. All right, so next, uh, let's see. Classical blocks, change not block skills. However, after the, okay, so. Oh, okay, so it still blocks skill usage. I don't think I can get it. Oh, oh no, no, yeah, I can't get it. Uh. Okay, yeah, it's still a 9x9 nine nine area where you can't use skills. So Loki Vale is still a very real thing. And EXP... And, uh, okay, so Mr. Kim got a buff, I, I suppose? It, it seems like a lot of these things don't include dancing lessons anymore. So these passives are kind of man now. I guess that allows you to get more songs. Uh, I mean, it seems like it's going to play very differently, but I'm not too concerned about it on it on Shining Moon because of their party system. I feel like a lot of people will, if they want to play a support class, they're not going to be shut out of parties because of it. And these effects, while they are significantly weaker, a support class doesn't have to literally double your damage now for it to be viable. Before, you, you a, a support class would literally, or better, have to like specifically half the time of performance for doing an instance. And even then, a lot of people don't like it because you have to find the other person. So that increases the time a lot. Now it's just like, hey, do you want to come play with us? Sure, okay. And then you go in the instance. Because the way that of how item share is on RO is very weird. But yeah, thanks for helping me showcase that, guys. Uh, Bard, I don't know if Bard's dead, especially not on Shining Moon because of their party system is so welcoming. But yeah, Poem of Braggy is, is definitely not 100% anymore. So you're going to have to pick between After Castellay and Damage, which I think is a little bit more interesting in my opinion. All right, so moving on. That's enough of that. Oh, Longing for Freedom. Uh, it removes all negative penalties of ensemble skills. All right, so now we're going into Merchant. Uh, you can't flash songs anymore? Uh, I'm pretty sure they all have cooldowns. And it doesn't matter because you can only have one effect at a time. Let's look at Bard. Oh no, okay, they have 0.3 cast delay, but again, there's no reason to. You just kind of use the skill. Oh, oh dear. Okay, you can still flash songs, guys. Thanks for showcasing that, Jack. Really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, could you invite me to the party, Electro? 
Thank you. All right. So I wanted to showcase this. Uh, crazy uproar got changed, and now it affects the whole party. Yes, it's even louder, chat. Ooh, and imagine this with the air horn mod. Oh my god, it's gonna be so funny. <laughs> oh, it gets louder every time. Uh, all right. Oh, uh, could you clear it to me again, actually? It also increases attack, I think, now. Okay, that one didn't work. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, change the screen wide party buff. Uh, fix casting time. It looks like Lunar for forgot to put the fix casting time in there. <laughs> Uh, one second of variable casting. Oh, it looks like Luna forgot to put the variable cast time in there. And it looks like he forgot to put the 30 second cooldown in there. <laughs> and it also increases your attack by 30. So, uh, again, you won't be able to spam it. That's sad. I, I kind of like this customization because... Well, chat. Hey, get in here. Invite him. Yeah, you can now use weapon perfection and stuff in a Amato. Can you use uh, adrenaline? Yep. And what about um, maximum overthrust? What about what about maximum overthrust though? The, the money one. The money one. The money one. <laughs> can you not use the money one? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, cool. And this affects you? It doesn't just cast? Okay, so. There you go. You status attack, though. Oh, is it status? Gross. Uh, Alright, so... Oh, uh, Power Thrust no longer has a chance to break weapons anymore. And Adrenaline Rust also increases hit by up to 10, it looks like. It also increases attack speed. So I assume that's percentage attack speed. That's, um... Uh, let's see, battle stats. Uh, it should show that I have attack speed on. Let's see. Kind of hard to read on this background. I have no percentage. Lunar, please. Lunar, please. Okay, I'm, I'm sure that I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe it's a skill-based attack speed percent. And okay. Oh, this one's big. This one's big. Okay, so maximum power thrust also got its chance to remove weapon break removed. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, chat. Cart Termination and now does normal damage and is boosted by cards. So let's go ahead and... Um... Oh, okay. Let's sell all. And get some money. And now we can cart term. And now this is a normal skill that I cannot use because I didn't use cart boost. That is boosted by cards. And it doesn't look like it got any cooldown or anything. So I let that is like really good now. Attack speed based cart termination is gonna be a thing, absolutely. I think some people in Kira are already using it, honestly. Because you can just spam it. I'm, I I believe my card is full. Yeah, it is. Okay, but I'm using a buster. 
Yeah, it was. So now it's boosted by cart weight and it's boosted by cards as well. Uh, previously, um, cart termination was weird and didn't like it didn't take damage boosts from cards like Hydra, but those are getting a lot stronger in Renewal, especially with the raising in uh, imagine a pile bunker, for example, you put a weapon card on that. That's like 20% um, that's like 80 attack. Like that's not nothing. You're kind of getting up there. And let's see. And that's that's pretty much all for Blacksmith. Uh, big changes all around. Lots of them quality of life. Um, it looks like they're leaning away from choosing between being an axe or a Mato mechanic. I kind of wish that you could make use of the Mato stuff without looking ugly, but that's an artistic uh, opinion. So next on my list here is Alchemist. This one's going to be a little bit weird to showcase, but I believe I do have uh, stuff for it. All right, so Alchemist. Uh, thanks for the referrals, by the way, chat, because uh, because of these, I have the means to showcase. Uh, so if I do check, if I do believe I have some bottles. Oh, no, it's acid. Oh, did I not put those away? Okay, let's go back to the it's SG then. Why wouldn't you be able to play Trapper? <laughs> what would what would stop you over here that doesn't over there? <laughs> yeah, let's put those in there and we can showcase. And back to the Alchemist. Open that storage. Uh, Autumn Headband. Oh! Right! Well, the Shadow Gears boost trap damage. Hey! <laughs> so there's something to look forward to, at least. Alright, so Acid Terror and Bomb got updates. Let's have a look at them. Right, it doesn't seem too different on first glance. Not gonna lie. Acid, yeah, they seem about the same. Can you stack them? No, of course not. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so base damage change to skill level 200 times skill level attack. So what, a thousand at level five? Yeah, a thousand attack. Uh, demonstration is a question mark good old ir wiki uh and okay it's affected by potion research okay so i do that it should do more damage now yeah that is a bit more uh weapon break chance change to three times skill level and armor break chance on acid tear is five times skill level. So 25% to break armor. And what is that day? 15% chance to break weapon on bomb. I don't know if that's a buff or a nerf. I'm not sure. Uh, acid tear is now long range physical damage and bomb is regular melee physical damage. All right, that's that's it for Alchemist. Nothing else was changed from them. Uh, I'm actually not too sure. <laughs> Just trying to give you some options. Although, I mean, is trapping really that strong on Novaro? Even with the hat, come on, come on. Also, um, uh, well, I mean, yeah, that's Cluster Bomb too. I was gonna say Bio Five Hat, but. That is also Cluster Bomb. 
All right, so some changes for Assassin are Sonic Blow. After cast movement delay has been removed. We'll see. We'll see how that worked out. Uh, let's get some Sonic Blow. I'm also gonna have to showcase Venom Splasher, which was also changed. Uh, and then we'll have to reset for the trans skills, but that's okay. So Sonic Blow. I mean, it seems a lot more free, but I don't know if that's if that's what they had in mind there, Lunar. I don't know. I'm assuming he knows better than I do, so... Yeah, just... It's way less. Can I just, like, do stuff? I can hide now while I'm doing it. Uh, can I... Backslide and, and then... Oh. I can backslide. I think you could do that before, though. And let's have a look at Venom Splasher. Oh, do I need a gemstone? Oh, no, nope. it's a skill. Okay, these guys are immune to poison, so this isn't a good showcase. Ooh, big cooldown. Hmm. Oh, it takes a while for them to explode. Okay, so it's like Spore Explosion. <laughs> Oof. Uh, it does get shorter uh, explosion timer with higher levels. So because it's level 3, it's going to kind of suck. And there it goes. Damage seems okay. I mean, I'm not, not really doing anything. Uh, they do have the autumn headband, but it's the IRO version. So let me let me go look at it. It's it's gonna boost Aero Storm. I think it's a monster hunter, or not? Is it item collector? Ah. Uh, oh wait, instance points. There it is. Yeah, autumn headband. So it's Aero Storm. Aerostorm, all day Aerostorm, 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 Aerostorm. Um, I'm... I, I, I think Racing Cap would still be better. Just because of how much it decreases your Aerostorm cooldown. Like, a lot. Like, half. It's it's kind of a big deal. Alright, let's uh, reset and then test out the... G or the Cinex side of the skill tree here. Alright, so we're gonna need Hiding... We're gonna need Approved Dodge, we're gonna need Double Attack, we're gonna need Steel- Oh, we don't really need Steel. There we go. That's fine. And then we're gonna go ahead and... Let's see, what changed in... G okay, all of these. Okay, so Enchant, Deadly Poison changed. Uh, Meteor Assault also did change. It looks like Soul Destroyer is the same. I don't see any changes for that, so we ain't touching it. Uh, let's go ahead and drop some aces. And but five, what? What do you mean five K CP? Let's call storage. I get some poison bottles. Oh, they're right here. All right, so EDP changed. Let's go to petites, I guess. That's not it. There we go. EDP now uh, lasts two minutes without the GX passive. And Meteor Assault is now looking real good. You can actually use it now, chat. My goodness, I don't have like 200 decks. Like this is actually usable. It's unbelievable. Also, EDP is now 300 times. Uh, it doesn't have a huge after cast delay anymore, it seems like. Uh, instead having a cooldown, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit of a cooldown, but that's it. Yeah, so you can actually use a Meteor Assault now. Wow! What a difference!
And for Meteor, Sto Meteor Assault, base damage affected by strength and base level. Uh, cast Delay is completely removed, but instead it gets a half a second cooldown, so you can't just like spam it. Um, Enchant Deadly Poison gets a two second cooldown, but Cast Delay is removed. And now it lasts for two minutes. Uh, weapon Attack and Equip Modifier changed to 300%. Uh, weapon attack modifier further multiplied by 125%, resulting in 375 final weapon attack. This seems like a buff. Uh, I, I mean, it's technically a nerf, but at the same time, cross impact, counter slash, soul destroyer, and sonic blow have their EDP basically penalties removed. So before... You did less damage with Sonic Blow and Cross Impact and all those other skills while you had e <clears throat> while you had EDP active. Now it's just fine. It it just boosts them like it would any other skill. I think Meteor Salt still ignores it. I'm not too sure about that. No fear progression. Zero out of five. Oh hey, someone used the Nova. Cool. Yeah, I got a, I got the exclamation mark Nova. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's there, there's the reason, guys. I typed it all out for you. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna need a small inter intermission to get some water. Been talking a lot, so I'm like, yeah. Uh, and we'll come back and uh, I guess we have. We're just about halfway through. So be right back, chat. All right, I return. Got me a big old cup of water. 
Yeah, the uh, pre-re server for Shining Moon was really unpopular and they shut it down. Crab. Uh, Alright, so getting right back into the thick of it. It's time for Rogue! Oh boy. Rogue time. Let's have a look here. Alright, so... Ah, yes, okay, that did get changed. Okay, yeah, that's kind of a big deal. All right. So, uh, let's see. Raid got changed. It's now a 5x5 five five AoE. Uh, its damage formula it changed to cap out at 800% attack. Uh, did it have... What was the chance before? Okay, so it says the same blind effect, but... It, it does, uh, it does significantly more damage, just in general. Like, almost, basically, just a little bit more than double. And something you might have noticed at the start of the stream, uh, they basically completely rewrote Backstab. It just works now, and you just kind of do it. That's it, that's it, and you just stab, that's it. You don't have to wiggle behind them, you don't gotta do the dance, you just kinda hit them, that's it. You teleport behind them, you go, nothing personnel, kid, and then you destroy them. Nothing personnel, kid, and you destroy them, there you go. Uh, alright, uh, so apparently... Ah, right, okay, this has, um, damage, dampli damage amplification effect changed to 15% on pro boss protocol monsters. There was a damage of what? Ah, uh, okay, so damage that take raid actually take more damage. That is pretty significant, actually. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. Look at that, 6k rather than 4. Uh, so that is 30% on normal monsters, 15% on boss monsters. Uh, damage amplification no longer has a kit hit count and lasts 10 seconds instead. So if you were to... Oh, let's drop some maces here. If you were to raid, and now you can just auto attack this thing and it's gonna just keep taking more damage. As opposed to this one, it's not going to take more damage. That's not a bad, that's not a bad thing. Getting just a, a random 30% bonus damage, that's really good. As you can see, the first one doing like 2k, the second one doing more than uh, 3k. Kind of a big deal. Yeah, that is, uh, that is not nothing. How about refining a black wing? Does that increase backstab damage? Because that might be a thing. I mean, there's a cooldown, so good luck. Uh, you know, making it PvP meta, but like... That's not nothing, man. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. pre renal players generally don't want their skills being touched. So, ooh, uh, yeah, not gonna happen. Uh, so Intimidate, which is the skill that uses to passive thing, uh, it now caps at level 5. Or no, yeah, no, it always did. But now it also increases attack speed, which I guess it wasn't enough to raise me up. But yeah, now it increases attack speed up to, it looks like, 5%. And that's a, pa uh, oh no, no, uh, yeah, it's plagiarism. Stupid IRO names, chat. Yeah, there you go. So plagiarism now gives up to 10% attack speed. It's a, it's a passive, so you know that's cool. So there you go. Uh, and nothing for stalker it looks like. So we're gonna head right back into acolyte. Let's go ahead and jump on our priest here. Uh, and do I have Angelus? No? Well, uh, Angelus now gives a hard 500 max SP. 
not not that big of a deal but i mean hey at least angel's got something uh this is the big thing right here so blessing now gives a hit there's basically 20 hit on it look at that hit bonus uh attack speed or increase agi also gives attack speed so now you're getting like 10 percent attack speed with agi up and you're getting 20 hit with blessing on top of already getting the stat bonuses that you get holy light change variable cast time to one second so it should be like actually castable in renewal now this is great i'm i'm super a fan of this not gonna lie chat let's let's oh magnus also hits everything now spoilers i didn't mean to showcase that yet chat dang it <laughs> So Holy Light is now sort of kind of castable in Renewal. I still wouldn't advise it, but yeah. Okay, getting into the <laughs> priest skills now. Impostio Manus uh, now gives um, change the screen wide party buff. And it now gives. Uh, I casted it, so we're going to have to wait. It's got a 30 second cooldown now. Uh, as you can see, its its effect is much longer. Uh, mastery attack effect increases... Oh no! The mastery attack it used to give is now changed to equipment attack, so it's way better. Way better! And increases in equip and attack as well. So now you're getting a quick equip attack, it looks about 25. And M attack, it's 120 seconds long. It's got 1.5 seconds variable cast time. So as you can see, there you go. We got some extra attack. It's looking real good. Uh, cast delay changed to a one second at all levels. Again, this is like a big party buff now. So it's you're not going to have to cast it on every single thing and it's not going to do basically nothing anymore. Uh, Suffragium also got changed to a, a screen wide party buff. And now it's going to uh, variable cast time effect no longer has cast count and lasts until the duration ends. Variable cast time reduction is changed to 30% or 20% at max level uh, and it is 60% duration at all levels. So is that going to wear out as soon as... Okay, so it's a 60, 60 second duration, 30 second cooldown. You're going to be able to keep this up permanently. I don't know if it stacks additively with other effects of this kind but yeah it's that's kind of a big deal pretty pretty cool uh something i already spoiled magnus exorcemus now hits everything not just demons and undead and and that kind of stuff uh so now it does damage to everything you can use it anywhere it also casts significantly faster keep in mind this is shining moon so their second job skills are already boosted so it's probably going to be a little bit slower than this, uh, but j just to keep that in mind. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm out of gemstones now. Uh, it has a six, six second cooldown now, which didn't really matter too much because it couldn't stack anyway. Uh, and it deals 30% more damage on undead and stuff. Uh, variable cast time is five seconds at all levels as opposed to literally until the heat death of the earth. Y'all know how long it was before. Oh, no, you know what? Yeah, that is pretty long. I, oh, yeah, no, I do have gemstones. I just got overweight. A loot. A loot type. Uh, reset. Oh, because because it's caps, it doesn't count. There we go. And auto loot zero. But yeah, now you can use Bangus on everything. Uh, Assumptio is completely rewritten. Let's throw that up. Uh, looks like defense 250 and incoming HP recovery by uh, a bunch. So do that. And that's going to increase the amount you can heal them for. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have to reset for Ballistica. Uh, it used to be like a... 
It used to be a basically immunity, but it didn't really work too much because gravity kind of was like, hey, boss monsters are cool. Uh, read the oh, if you want to read the changes, they're all right here. I'm gonna. Oh, sorry, am I not pronouncing that right? Uh, Marcel? Anyway, let's reset our skills. Had to get Angelus to show it off. I still don't think people are gonna take that. It's just not worth it. 500 HP is... It's nothing. I mean, it's gonna be really cool when you're leveling up. But considering how unforgiving uh, RO is with skill resetting, officially, I don't think you'd want that. I mean, I guess, uh, instead of getting Decrease Agi, you now could get six levels of it uh, before you go to Priest, which is 300 HP. Which, I mean, uh, you know, is not, not, not terrible. Not, not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. <laughs> Uh, magical damage, ooh, what? This is weird. Alright, so Ballistica, again, completely rewritten. Uh, can I even use it here? Uh, yellow gemstone is required. Okay, I'll go get them. Hello, yes? Yes, hello? What? What's up? Oh, you can also use Kairi and Assumptio at the same time. So Assumptio is just like a hard defense increase now. Uh, which, honestly, 250 defense is not nothing. That's that's kind of good. I don't know how much of an impact it's going to have gameplay-wise, but... That, that does seem pretty cool. And then Ballistica is... Let's see, is that just like a buff now, or...? Oh, I need a holy water, a yellow gemstone, blue and red. Okay, I don't have a holy water. Uh, I'm also missing... Oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, blue, okay, there we go. Now we can... Um... I, I guess it casted? I mean, it used the stuff, and it went on cooldown. Uh, na 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 Okay, so 40 seconds. Magical damage, plus 15%. Uh, physical damage, plus 25%. Let's see. Oh, okay, increases holy property magical damage for the effect duration. Uh, I guess we'll go to Anhel and test that. Let's get our... Oops. Is it like um, a ratio now, or? Sixty-nine. How much was it doing before? Let's go test over here. Yeah, the rogue changes are really cool. Backstab is gonna be legit now. Eighty-four. Okay, so if I do this. Yeah, it's still 69. What is what is Ballistica doing? I'm not too sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's on Shadow and Undead Monsters. Okay. So that means we're going to Orc Dungeon. I guess I could Magnus, but I didn't get it. I ain't even get it. <sighs> yeah, 250 defense is not nothing. That's kind of a cool thing. And since it's not going to have any downside of not being able to use Kyrie anymore, like that's that's pretty good, man. That is not nothing. What? Uh, let me get my defense calculator out real quick. So, if you are at zero defense, I'm not actually sure what the, um, normal level of defense is anymore for physical classes or, like, DPS classes. But even if, if you're at zero, uh, basically, 
Okay, that's... Okay, so zero, you're gonna take 100% damage. 250 damage! Or 250 defense. It's going to reduce incoming damage by 45%, I think. Hold on, let me let me double check the math. Okay, 35%. 35... That's not nothing. That's kind of a big deal. Uh, you take a hun you take 35 off 100k, that's 65k now. That's way more tankable. That is that is not nothing. And then let's say you're a tank already and you got 500 and you get okay, so let's say you're a tank, you're at 600. You get another 250 that gets you to 850. Uh, that is going from 46 to 38. Or 39 actual damage. So going from how much effective reduction is that? I'm not sure. So that's 46, meaning incoming damage is. Yeah, that's incoming damage 46, so. 46, and then 850 would be 39. Uh, that's like a 7% difference, but. Since the effective damage is a lot lower, uh, it's more than 7%. It's actually reducing the damage by... Let's let's do the math quickly here. It was 46, so if we do 35... or thir Was it 35? 39, okay, 39, 46. 39... It's looking like... Like, 17% less damage? That's not nothing. Yeah, Lunar subbed! Uh, with Twitch Prime, what a good guy. Alright, so, uh, that pretty much covers Priest. Uh, and High Priest as well. So, we're gonna go on over to Monk. There's lots to showcase here. Uh, there's one thing I can't showcase because it needs Shura. But I will showcase everything else and I'll explain that thing. So, going into Monk, we've got... Okay, so Finger Offensive is now about the same. But I'm pretty sure it only uses one sphere now. It also seems like DSC got way faster. Let's see. It's still a super long cast time. But as you can see, it only used one skill, or one point, or one ball, and it's still doing that full damage. So now there's like no reason to use a lower level, I suppose. Well, let's see. Level one casts a lot faster, but it does less damage. So I guess if you're getting surrounded, you might want to use level one, but level five is not going to use all your spheres anymore. Uh, Raging Quadruple Bro. It looks like a lot of the combos got changed. Oh, okay. So if you were to Blade Stop, you'd also do more damage. Oh, Blade Stop got major nerfed, dude. Oh my god, Blade Stop got destroyed. <laughs> okay, so before chat, you could like Blade Stop someone and you could literally hold them in there for like two minutes. It was ridiculous. Now, let's just get Iron Hand and Numa. Blessing, and I should be good. Edgy. Alright, so now, Blade Stop only lasts uh, 2 seconds on bosses and 10 seconds on everything else. That's kind of a big deal. Let's get Investigate. That got buffed a bit. I need all the combos too. Azura Strike also is the thing I need. I can't get snapped with this build, but it's whatever. So anyway... Uh, let's, oh yeah, uh, re, uh, triple attack is now 30% chance uh, on all levels, so you will actually be able to consistently combo things.
Oh, I gotta get spheres. I guess the damage is improved. It's hard to tell. Now, the major thing that changed with uh, Azura Strike, I can't really showcase because chat, when you have more than six spheres, Azura Strike now does, uh, or if you have six or more spheres, Azura Strike now does double damage. And now six or more spheres, uh, you will now do double damage with Azura Strike. Let's call spirits. Let's do the combo. There we go. <laughs> and I leveled up, so I didn't. I got my SP back. Cool. That whole combo only took two spheres. Uh, this is uh, Shining Moon. Don't forget to exclamation mark server. Oh, I ran out of spheres. Uh oh. We ain't gonna die. People really play with one. Uh, you get a drop bonus at the end, so it is kind of attractive for some players. Uh, no, it seems like DSC is a lot faster now. Uh, I don't have it right now, but I did showcase it just like a second ago. I think like one more level I should be able to get it. Yeah. Uh, generally, I see people... Well, the strategy I was going to do is get a hundred X, get the gear. And then once you have the gear and the resources to basically totally go champion on a one X character, then you do it. But leveling at one X without the proper equipment is going to be the world of hurts that you don't want to take part in. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, let's hard cast Zura Strike on this guy. And if I had six spheres, that would have did 30k. Just, just letting you guys know. Uh, oh, right, I forgot to mention Mace Mastery also gives crit. Hmm. Big deal. <laughs> no one cares. Uh, and yes, Blade Stop also got majorly nerfed, so it only holds for 10 seconds now. Let's go ahead and try that out. Let's enable that. None enabled, okay. So let me get a sphere. Oh, I'm out of SP, okay. Let's go back to town. Let's go, like, actually back to town. And back onto the orcs. Are you gonna hit me? Blade stop won't work because he's missing. Alright, let's go to the petites then. There we go. Now, chat, I don't- if you ever got BM'd by Ashura doing this, holding you here for two minutes, now it's over in ten seconds. Why not? There we go. Now it's over in ten seconds. How long did that last before? Oh, right, it's Root on oh, Iro. Okay, uh, Blade Stop. Duration, 60 seconds. <laughs> 60 seconds, chat. Ridiculous. 
You can just literally hold people. And in a time sensitive gameplay like, uh, now Flywing away? I don't have Flywings. Alright, and I already showcased that. Okay, so there is some. Ah, okay, so Zen uh, is changed its variable cast time to one second, and it now has a one second cooldown. So, good news and bad news, but I gotta get some champion compost over here to reset again. And it looks like all the combos now affect base level. Uh, damage formula based on strength. Uh, delay changed to 0.3 seconds. Uh, damage doubles if Knuckle is equipped. Split into six yellow. Oh, okay. That's kind of important. Yeah, combo finish is now ridiculous with a fist. So let's go grab a fist. Uh, at sell all. There we go, and that should be enough to buy a fist. Knuckles. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's grab a Wagnack. And try the combos out again, I guess. I'm gonna reset to... Uh, champion combos anyway, so... There we go. Iron Palm, level 1, and that should cap these out here. Blessing, whatever. Just using my points, chat. That's it. That's too many points. Be careful, there we go. And now we can get this. Can we get... Oh, sure we can, obviously. Ooh, Chain Crush combo looks ridiculous now. Yeah, that's looking real good. Interesting. Well, let's get that as high as we can get it. And head on back to the Petites. Might have to actually find stronger mobs because... Uh, these things are probably gonna die before I get the whole combo done. Oh, right, I need to... Right, 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 right. Wow. Yeah, that's really good now. Yeah, they die at Tiger Fist, so let's go dummies. And it missed. Does it not hit? After using combo finish, tiger finish. Okay, so let's just skip that. It's not hitting, chat. It's not hitting. I don't know what's wrong. Ooh, that's a lot of... Oh, that's a combat, okay. Uh, Tiger Fists... Yeah, chat, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Oh, what? I don't think... I think that's a typo, chat! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a typo. I don't think it's 12,000 damage at level 6. <laughs> I mean, it's not even hitting. Okay, hold on. Let me let me test on like some normal monsters but that have high health. Um dungeons, ice dungeon. Yeah, that should work. Hopefully. Yeah, Danger Soul Collect is ridiculous now. I love it. 
It still ain't hitting. It still ain't hitting, chat. I yeah, I suppose we could we could try dark priests. Dungeons. It's in last time. There's a churchyard, right? Probably a bug. All right. Lunar! <laughs> There's a bug! Come to hint. Okay. Uh, at go ant. Or at warp. Ant L. L1. What is it? Is it PvP only? No. You think I can hit you? I'm like level two. Well, the other stuff hits just fine. I don't, I don't understand. Chain Crush combo isn't hitting at all. Weird. Yeah, it is weird. Oh, sorry. He died. No, I mean, even when I use level 7 chat, it doesn't work. Uh, I guess let's try level 1? Or maybe, maybe he tested level 10 and it worked. I don't know. Well, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's go back to Ice Dungeon. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, level one ain't hitting either. Fix damage bonus against Dark Priest, so try that. Okay, let's try it then. Go back to the churchyard. Do they just not care? Chat, what's going on here? <laughs> no, it's not even hitting with that. Why does this Dark Priest just not care? What the heck? <laughs> what's going on with that? They just did not care that I was around. Like, I can hit him. And he's just like, whatever, it's okay. Dude, I got all the decks, man. It's not hitting that guy that I was dueling. Had literally zero flea. Probably like the Anatos card and stuff. I have no idea why this isn't hitting. <laughs> Alright, well, it's whatever, chat. It's whatever. It hits hard. Uh, monsters. Okay. <laughs> A bit broken, huh? Yeah, I'd say. Um, let's move on. Oh, that's it. That's it. That was the last. That was the last class. Isn't there something I didn't showcase? Uh, I guess not. No, I showcased it all. Interesting. Well, hmm. Yeah, no, that is that is everything. Well, we found a bug. Uh, we found some stuff that Lunar forgot. Shame on him. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our Faws and Blast Clip and head on back to the... Uh... Oh, I dropped some stuff. There we go. And we're going to head on over to uh, some Star Emperor because we have a quest to finish, chat. I'm not, I'm not playing super novice. Y'all need to stop. You have a problem. Uh, let's go armor, grab the Faws, and we're chillin'. Oh. Uh, organize. 
Dark thingy. Well, this is a quest I started last week, but we ran out of time. So I gotta make it again. I gotta go back to where we were. Um, what happened to my progress? Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. We're back where we left off. Cool. Uh, let's do shift. There we go. So, I don't remember where I was. Uh, I got, I got beat up over there. I remember that. Dark Society is like a completely custom uh, storyline. And you basically just kind of... Oh, do I have to, do I have to disperse of these? Yes. Uh, you, it's basically how they implemented Foz, I guess? There's like... Their thing is focused on how, uh, we gotta make a pact with the Dark Angel or whatever. It's, it's pretty neat. It's very in-depth for a piece of custom content and very story-driven, much more than you'd expect. Where's my weapon? That's a good question. Well, all my gear came off. Got him. You can't deal with the Foz. <laughs> Uh, let's see. There we go. I should get some strength, huh? Okay, so I beat the Acolytes. Let's get some decks. Oops. Edgy. You get Foz, basically. And the ability to enchant them. Elevator? Access denied! Oh, that was the trap room, okay. Yeah, don't go in there. Some rocks here. Uh oh. This is not a joke, guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, yeah, I, I figured that was happening. Apparently also access to endgame dungeons. I wasn't aware of that part. Use the elevator. Okay, I'll use the elevator. That was not here. Not there. Not here. Oh boy. Oh, what have I done? There's the elevator. I can get out of this map before they do the thing. Yay! Oh! <laughs> Not quite! Alright! Oh no! Don't Azura strike me! And he didn't even get a chance to do it. I died before he got to. Alright, so I don't want to go down there. Here. I don't know. It's, it's the third door on the right here. It, no, that, that's not the elevator. That's the trap room. Don't go in there. Alright, see you. Oh no, this is the trap room now. What? 
Ah, but it's the fourth door. Okay. Noted. Sorry, chat. It's, yeah, the third door is the one I gotta go on. Uh. Yeah, I know. It's got uh, consequences. Yeah, I know. Uh, nah, 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 nah. What's wrong with you? Navigation 100. <laughs> okay, let's let's go from the bottom. Okay, one, two, and three. There we go. This should be the one I need to be in. There we go. Then we take the elevator. We're in the sewer. Off we go. I'm gonna go in the closet. Oh, where are we now? This is interesting. Almost kind of want to take a look around. Oh, well, no, don't get too curious. It's trees and stuff. This is pretty neat. It's a quaint, I'd say. Oh, I, I should probably be using Agiup, huh? I am an acolyte after all. Wanna, you wanna stop busting me around here? Skill list, please. There we go. That's better. Ha 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 ha, very funny. Uh, good question, Lucario. Very good question. Did I read or didn't I? A mystery foretold for generations. Do I have to get the seeds around the tree stumps? Ah, I already seen one of them. Yeah, there's some magic seeds. Yeah, exactly. Min reading lol. Okay, two out of ten. Alright, there we go. I just gotta collect magic seeds. This is a neat little area to explore. Not sure what's up with the grid. I think that's a lighting bug. I'm not sure. Oh, there's some magic seeds. Got three out of ten now. Kind of waving my mouse around to see if uh, there's some magic seeds. Uh oh. Oh yeah, it's just a fairy. I thought it was like a, a literal menblad. I was scared. Forests don't have grids in Canada. <laughs> I'm not getting that debated, chat. My forests don't have grids, and I'm pretty dang sure yours don't either. Uh, I have played Iro, yes. It was a long time ago, and it got a little too pay to win for me, so I quit. I played it back when it was uh, pay to play, so there was a lot less cash shop thingies. Alright, 7 out of 10, we're getting there. Getting there, chat, getting there. Do they respawn at all? Or do I need. Oh no, they just. Re yeah, I just seen this one respawn. Questions answered. Go away, Force Fairy. Uh, what server is this? This is a Shining Moon RO. You can go ahead and type exclamation mark server to, uh, to get some so, some good old link. Hey, someone got to level 75. Way to go. Way to go, man. You did it. I 
Can I storage from here? I sure can. Alright, put those away for later. Yeah, I know, Lucario. Look, it, I played Iro like five, ten years ago. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Come here, magic seeds. Oh, I'm gonna three cast Agi. Chat, this is why I don't like quests. There we go, I found one. Finally. My goodness. Alright, now we gotta return to Broadrig. I wonder if there's a faster way to do that. I don't have poison bottles. Unfortunate. I have infinite zerk though. All right, let's sneak through the closet again. Hey, more? no, that's just the same Rodex. Oh, okay, elevator. Ah, uh, this is Shining Moon RO. Use the exclamation mark server command. I still don't have a mount. That's not happening. Oh no, this is not where I need to be. No, no, no. That's not it either. Elevator, that's the trap room. Is she over here? Nope. There she is. Great job. Go back. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, why is Bard dead? Um, here are some patch notes. Look at all the changes that happened to Bard. Oh, what? This is different. That's not what I wanted. So now I can take the elevator to James's laboratory too. But I gotta go back to the forest and get some, get some forest water. All right, so where? Oh, I assume I have to go up to the where there's water on the map. Uh, you get to you get fallen angel wings, and you get the ability to enchant fallen angel wings. Oh, I guess I just have to go to the well. Fuck it. Uh, tie the knot. Drop the bucket. Hold the rope. Untie the knot. What? Tie the knot. Drop the bucket. 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 Rope. Pull the rope. Pull the rope. Rope. Pull the rope. How low is this well? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right then. All right. Tie the knot. Drop the bucket. 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 Drop the bucket.
I just do this until it's done? I worked last time. Up and down? Oh! Right, aqua elemental. No, it's a water spirit. It's just spam enter, and if it doesn't work, bug report. Drop the bucket. Drop the bucket. We get Faws then apart from this quest, there is some Faws in daily rewards. And also, I, I'm sure there's other ways to get them as well. You get, I mean, you get to buy them, but in, in order to gain the ability to enchant them, you must do this quest. Three out of five buckets. Four out of five buckets. Oh, you can enchant them already? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So the rest is for dungeon enchants or entrance. Oh, right. Isn't there, um, there's also Faws in the daily rewards. That's not it. Um, daily rewards, and then there's also flaws in the cash shop. West is roughly th 15 minutes. Takes one, two streams. <laughs> oh, I gotta add you up. There we go. Uh, keep in mind, uh, Gossin, you don't, like, you can actually refine stuff safely here. Yeah, I'm aware of that. As the dungeon entrance is still important, though. This is endgame dungeons that allow you to get the uh, endgame gear. Which is, like, j Hero stuff and that kind of beta win stuff. Uh, deliver materials, to, he will be pleased. Okay. I believe that guy's over here, right? No, that's Vladimir. Ah, this is the guy. Uh, can I talk about... I mean, they have safe certs, they have, um... I know this is a bad example, but if you look in the cash shop, there is... ores. Like, you know, HD ores... Or... Relatively low prices, old enriched ore, if you want that, but... They also have blacksmith blessings, but again, that's a lot of endgame stuff. So, eventually... Refines are safe. And you don't have to do this a million million times every time.
Welcome back, Mew. I don't know how much of the skills you missed, but oh boy, they're all done now. Where was I going? I I'm lost, chat. Ah, what? All oh, an angel wings, you? Is that like equipped or? Or is that like a costume, Fallen Angel Wings? I don't want to mess with these ones because they're they're nice, but you know, it's here if we need it. Hey, oh, it's Incubus Egg. Okay. Ah, quest log, huh? All right. Uh, auditory hallucination. I'm I'm not sure. Oh, Dark Society. Okay. Uh oh no, that's just the the that's just the basic. So I guess I gotta go sing with that guy now. Oh, untradeable. Okay, that makes sense. Not here. There it is. Yo, let me join you. <clears throat> All right, does that? Oh, do I gotta? Ah, ah, there we go. Quest line is roughly 50 minutes. Oh, okay. You named the Mew. All right. Nowhere near as bad as the sign. Look, the sign is like a rite of passage. Chat, you gotta do it at least once. Yes, this is completely custom, Gossam. They they made this whole unique quest line so that they could release pay to win gear without it being pay to win gear. The things gravity makes us do. Unbelievable. Man, this these seeds suck, man. They're not merging with the dark energy. Granted to get Faws? I'm not sure. I think you still have to craft them. I'm not, I'm not 100%. Oh, okay. I, I will try that. Thank you. Hmm, okay. Okay, take the elevator and go to the lab. All right. Elevator time. Elevator was down here, right? Not quite. There we go. 
There, go to the laboratory. Uh, I have to talk to Gabriel? Nope. Nope. Fitz? Nope. Um, nope. Professor? Yeah! Wait, there was an option to flirt with them? Aw, oh, Chad, I really wish I did that. Uh, okay, something like a tree monster, which we could vert first to dark. Uh, right? Okay. Oh man, I really wish I hit on him. The back a little, alright. Don't want to see. Oh, that's a leg broken. Oh, that's a lot of mob, because... Hey, a tree! Hey, what's happening to me? Uh oh. Oh no! They're gonna they're gonna get the tree! Oh no! Oh, and it's a baby tree too! Oh, that's sad. Wait. Why not give it? Why not give it, chat? Oh, this is the part of the quest. Come back to me in three hours. Can I hit on them while, during the three hours? Nope. I just gotta wait three hours, chat. This is the part of the quest. I heard about this. So, yeah, three hours. Um, well, I know who I need to visit. What's up, babe? Oh, come on. Don't scream like that. Oh, come on. I mean, I know you're in the middle. How long are you going to be changing your clothes for, lady? My goodness. No. I'm, uh, no. Uh, I wanted to go back in. Three hours AFK stream. Oh, thank you, Knight. I'm, I'm glad someone thinks so. But yeah, aside from that, I'm not too sure uh, where else to go or what to show off. I've kind of showcased all I wanted to today. Um, there are some third job skills that changed. For example, I go all the way back up to the top of this uh, thingy doodle. All right, so Spell Fist no longer reduces the damage done with every attack. Uh, Advanced Book no longer grants the wrong attack speed bonus. These just seem like bug fixes. Uh, Earthquake, now boosted by skills such as EDP. Time is now, chat. It finally happened. Earthquake EDP is working. All right, so uh, I guess I'll... Uh, I don't know if I can leave. Do I have to wait here as a... As as a... What's it called? Acolyte? Just kind of wait? I don't know. Oops. Okay, I can live. Alright. No, you don't want dual. Just one. From what I've seen on... Uh, on Kero. All right, Dark Quitter, Leaf Fleece, thank you. And we're back to normal. Something else I did want to showcase here, chat, uh, is if we go to Illusion Dungeons. Now, I'm kind of weak, so I can't do a lot of them, but... Go ahead and buff up here. Can I just use Solar Burst like 20 years? Yeah, I still can do that. I don't know what they changed. 
Oh, that's a lot faster. Oh, 193 attack speed. Wait, why do I have 193 attack speed? I always have that. Oh well, I'm not complaining. I got a Moonlight coin. I should probably auto loot armor, huh? Oh, hey, someone else is hunting here. Go figure. So if we MI, let's go MI, so he look and we can see. Oh, wow, look at this MI chat. This is actually pretty nice. Uh, let's see. That, I think that's regular, so he. Oh, that's resentful. Okay. Uh, Skirt of Virgin, nah, Lucian. A magical shadow ear. Oh, magician shadow earring. Okay, so she drops the shadow earring. Uh, looks like 1.6% chance. And if we do MI Archer Skull. And we're gonna see that they drop Archer Shadow Earring. Makes sense. Absolutely makes sense, chat. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense, honestly. Uh, the way I think the waiting might just be a way to kind of I don't know. Maybe they're concerned about players uh, making a bunch of characters. Like, uh, you know how Nova's always concerned about people making a million Dorams to do content? Because he made his drop rates way too low. <laughs> the drop rates are too low, people are making 12 characters to do stuff now. Well, I, b I guess we better turn the 12 characters off. Problem solved. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what the three hours is for, but yeah, M attack fix is real. Making twenty Doramps, that's and making twenty Rebels. That took no, no, no. They don't like Rebels either. Actually, find things on Nova. Really? Part of the story. <laughs> I don't think Lunar realized what a meme that is. <laughs> oh, right, I should probably auto loot armor. Oh, look. Did you see that chat? That was a 200k sharpshooting. I told you it was real. I told you it was real. No one believed me. I know you guys were sitting there going, no, 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 no way I'm unbalanced. There's no way that sharpshooting could be real. They just did 200K. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that freaking drive-by ranger blowing my mind, chat. All right, uh, I'll loot. And I want armor. Oh, apparently I'm already all looting this. Uh oh. M attack fix. <laughs> yes! Sharpshooting is real as heck, chat. My goodness. Okay, but you can only use Aerostorm like once every two seconds. You can spam a sharpshooting chat. At attack speed. With enough setup, you can do it. I'm kinda curious which uh Did the did the heroes have them? Am I hero? Okay, Swordsman Shadow Earring. That might be actually kind of hard to get. I'm kind of concerned about that, chat. Not gonna lie. Because there's one on the map.
Okay. Noted. At who drops? Two, four. Oh, okay. It also drops from Hunterfly. Star Emperor Shen. Okay, Chaotic Hunter Fly. And... I see what you're doing here. And also 13. Uh, Chaotic Mantis. Really gonna make me go to... <laughs> Labyrinth? I'm so weak, though. <laughs> All right, chat, you guys are going to see just how weak this character is. All right, dungeons, illusion, uh, labyrinth. Oh, dear. I don't think I have enough hit for this, chat. <laughs> hey, there's the manis. Oh boy, 25k. Uh, I suppose. Oh, the aggro thing's still really buggy, Lunar. <laughs> That's kind of a problem. Uh, 40k with that. There we go. Okay, that's good. All right. The chat only takes me like two years to kill something. It seems like things that are already aggressive are just kind of stay that way, but things that are not aggressive are just never aggressive. That's that's a weird bug. Also, terrible, terrible. I am not strong enough for this content, chat. Like, absolutely, I'm not strong enough for this. Now, now, think about it, chat. How is, uh... Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't say that. I want to be toxic. Just think about, you know, I'm, right now I'm not doing enough damage because I lack gear. You can think of anywhere else where people might lack gear. Think about it. How are they going to react to certain content updates or whatever? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh no, 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 they're gonna party up and the drop rates and the requirements are gonna be 10x and you're gonna need 3,000 illusion stones to make anything. It's gonna be great. Oh dear. Oh my goodness, chat. Like, my goodness. <laughs> Why aren't you using heat? Because they get knocked back. And it's really inconvenient. I also don't have Link on right now. Oh, I guess that explains a lot. If I don't have Hatred on... Uh, so let's go... Well, I mean, I guess I could do it here. Because you can just go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on heat. Oh, okay, first of all. Oh boy. The camera just changed suddenly and now I'm frozen. Oh, okay. Yep, that's fine. Lunar, did you? Yes, you did. <laughs> Lunar, please. Now we just wait. There it is. There we go. Lisbon band. <laughs> now we do damage. Not really. That was ghost. What are these weak to? Fire? Ah. Uh, that was, again, holy. Are these guys holy? I'm assuming so. 
I can't hit him. Can't hit him, chat. Oh, I can hit him with that. There we go. Strategy! <laughs> Novaro in seven months, chat. <laughs> Oh no, you can't even do this on Nova. Because the new, using the uh, new mid kick twice gets you out of it. Yeah, I like the server. It's nice. Got a lot of cool stuff and actual gear progression. It's crazy. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Kind of curious, chat. Let's try out a stellar build. Let's try it out. Uh, I'm going to have to go reset. Kills. That's of course going to take off my uh I'm not too concerned about it though. Gonna need to get peaceful break now, chat. Uh, the tech one gear. If you're not aware of it, it boosts your attack based on your level of peaceful rest. So you're gonna want to get that for, to do ten from now on. Not like you don't have the skill points to spare on tech one. You really do. You really, really do. Uh, SG needs barely any investment. So, and if you're not getting, uh, you know, blessings, it's really easy to cap this out. Alright. And get Curier, and... Uh, what gear? There's the gear on screen. I don't think it's the best setup. But it's a setup. Definitely something, that's for sure. All right, we want protection and uh, yeah, I guess we get that too. Oh no, wait! I'm gonna need. I want a counter kick. Yeah, I'm gonna need counter kick. So let's go get counter kick up to level seven. And right, we got one more point to spend, and we're gonna spend it on the best skill in the game: it's the lunar stellar in whatever team up. And we're gonna get latest star, falling star. Uh, universe stance, and maybe some moon kicks too, because those are nice. Nice to have. And let's get that to level 3. And that to level 3. Oh, and I also need to get this to level 3 to get universe stance. Here we go. Can I please? Thank you. There we go. And light of the stars. And we're going to do Falling Star over here. And Flashing Kick over here. Universe Stance, Light of the Stars. Basically endgame gears on Nova? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, uh, the Temporal Boots are pretty uninvested into you, but... I don't want to get too deep into this, because I'm waiting for the World Gate to open chat. Uh, let's see here. I want... What did I want here? I forget. It doesn't matter. I go dummy. And we're gonna go proc a miracle. Here we go! Just like that. Alright, flash. Oh, nope, that's... Alright, there we go. Falling star. Uh, flashy kick? Flashy kick. No? GM on bug. Oh, there we go. Look at the Adoramus, dude. He got the set already. Look at this man. He did it. What? What a champion. The future of AB is arrived. <laughs> Oh man, isn't that cool, chat? 
Aren't you hype for the for these Shadow Gears? I'm hype. So yeah, the um, costume enchant stones along with the AB Shadow Gear allows you to get no cooldowns on your Adoramus. So I hope you guys enjoy those. No <laughs> Oof. How much damage is the uh, Falling Stars doing? They just hit once? Aren't they supposed to hit three times? I don't even know. I don't even know who to trust anymore, chat. Oh well. Maybe <laughs> is a support class only. Uh, refuses to implement Aspersio scrolls in fear of making AB useless. Also refuses to implement AB gear progression. <laughs> oh, heat knocks him back. That's not good. What the heck, Pokering? What element are you? Okay. Chat, I have two. There we go. That's better. Oh my god, the curse though. <laughs> the illusion skull ring has a 50% chance to curse. And a 50% chance, you know, when you're doing this, kind of ridiculous. 50%. You can only wear one though. Wait, 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 what? Well, I don't have to target it. What the heck? What's going on here, chat? I, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What's going on? Why didn't I have to target that Popa Ring? Is FSK not a target skill anymore? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> There's no way. Okay, now it's going. And now I can just spam it on him. What the heck? <laughs> I'm confused. I am unfuzzled. I got a falling star. There we go. Oh man. I don't know, mine doesn't do that. I don't know, maybe I've uh, unlocked a new level of uh, Tech One awareness. I'm actually gonna go to... Let's see. I'm gonna look at... Uh, let's, where's the other Shadow Gears? Because I mean, that's the... That's the... The Star Emperor armor and stuff, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Expanded. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I, I. Okay, can I. Where's the. Where's the ID? Who drops? Okay, Ominous Assaulter. That seems a little bit more my pace. No, it's not. It's still gonna be ridiculously hard, chat. Absolutely still going to be ridiculously hard. I promise you. I know for a fact it's going to be. Maybe. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, that's a lot of mobs. Um, there we go. Got him. Um... Yeah, no, that's not comfortable. How much is that doing? 25. What? Ah, man. I feel so weak, chat. Oh, no. It's almost like this content it was designed with gear in mind. What's going on here? Unbelievable.
Oh, do I not? I didn't have flashing cake on. All right, let's let's buff up first, then go to the dungeon. Oh, this one's really mobby too. There we go. Gonna need more of that game. Nope. Oh, no, I'm done. Ow! I'm dead, guys! It's over! <laughs> Look, I don't... I don't get pleasure out of mocking Nova. But I do get pleasure out of being correct, chat. And I kind of feel like I'm maybe just a wee bit on the correct side here. Just a little bit, maybe, you know. A little... A little bit. <laughs> so obviously I mean I'm a cap I'm a cap character but my gear could use a lot of work chat it could use a lot of work so I'm gonna have trouble with this content until I get better gear uh, no 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 uh, exclamation mark nova sub there's a whole explanation I, I set that up so that I don't have to answer it every stream ten times, but I don't mind the question, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can. Where are you? Are you, um... Where? Oh, there you are, Sonic. I don't know why I didn't invite you before, and I, I recognized you. I didn't know if you wanted in. There you go. Uh, all right, so we got nine minutes left, chat. I could keep uh, bumping my face against uh, against the good old monsters of the illusion dungeon, or do you want me to have a quick look through these uh, these neato little uh, shadow gears here? I mean, I experienced I'm experienced with them a lot from Rock, so I kind of know what to expect. Um, but generally these sets are pretty dang cool for a lot of the classes. Keep in mind that, uh, for example, the Sorcerer one will seem extremely overpowered. Uh, this is Shining Moon, you get exclamation mark server for that. Uh, the, um, what's it called? The, the Sorcerer one will seem very, very overpowered to you. But you have to keep in mind that you know how much damage mages do on uh, Novaro chat? You don't do any. Uh, yeah, I can go over the cash shop. There isn't too much here. I mean, uh, there's a bunch. Oh, I got teleported. Okay, hello. Ah, nice. Okay. There you go! There's all the Shadow Gears! Awesome! This will be easy to showcase then. So, Star Emperor 1 increases Moon Kick damage, decreases Document recovery rate, although it doesn't matter here because they have a really high chance to get uh, Miracle, so you're basically just going to proc that. Um, and yeah, so I think I'll just quickly go over these before I go. And... That'll be good. The cash shop isn't... I mean, from what I've seen, seems pretty basic. I mean, you've got the pretty much Nova Rose cash shop in a nutshell here. And then you've also got weirdo uh, custom costumes, which I know not everybody is a fan of, but they're here if you want them. And then you've got Blessing a Class Scroll, which is... Um, you could also get this for 25 mil, I think. Ah, uh, okay, allow you to learn secondary class. Yeah, so basically you can change classes on the fly here, chat. They don't restrict it. You have a skill called class change, and it allows you to basically change classes on the dot. Just like that. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, use is using it. Or not use. Sorry, Electro. You're playing an AB. You're used now. That's it. <laughs> So Electro instantly turning into a Doram there. I mean, is that really that much of an insult? Yuzu's a cool guy, come on. 
Uh, I, th I think this is, has always had it, although I don't know, maybe it's more recent? I don't know. I'm not sure of the history, although I know these Shadow Gears because they are not, uh... They are not custom content, so I can talk about them, and I know about them. Basically, the main things you want to be looking out for are the shields. The shields are really, really good. So, for example, Genetic Shadow Shield. Uh, let's see. Reduces cooldown of Cart Tornado. Oh boy. There's still another second left. You get another second of Cart Tornado reduction. Chat, it's going to be Rolling Cutter. Genetic. Rolling Cutter Genetic. Let's go. Uh, increases Adoramus damage. If you look at the weapon for Archbishop, I'm just kind of showcasing the ones that I know are going to be a big deal. So if I gloss over any, it's on purpose. Uh, where's that Archbishop? Sorcerer Wander. Archbishop weapon, where are you? Genetic, Rune Knight, Railguard, Mechanic, Genetic. There it is. Okay, there it is. If you use the shield and the sword together, add a Ramus cooldown minus one second. There's also a costume enchant stone that reduces the cooldown of Adoramus by another second. You use these together and you can spam Adoramus like that man we've seen in the dummies. Any safe for some- uh, I don't think they're in the cash shop. Let's have a look here. Blessing, Esperzio, uh, life insurance, not that you'd need it. Uh, Bubblegum. Here's some ores. There's some enchant ore for the custom enchants. Moon coins are pretty cool. It's basically like a way to trade cash points without having to go through the whole rigmarole. There's a box of enchant. Uh, I don't see any safe certs here, but they are available. You just have to do content for them. Like uh, the world bosses, the world drops. Uh, I believe the lucky seven lottery thing also has a chance to drop them. But they are they are in the game chat, I promise. Yeah, there, there you go, Lunar. Lunar Equipment, uh, Eden, okay, RWC Exchange, Lucky Roulette, World Boss Box. Yay! Alright, so another one I wanted to showcase here was the Sorcerer. Reduces cooldown of Diamond Dust. This could get real scary, chat. This can get really, really scary. Keep in mind that, uh, let's see, what's the cooldown of Diamond Dust? Uh, you can't get Shadow Gear past plus 10. It doesn't go to plus 20, like the rest. So this has a 5 second cooldown. So at plus 10, you're looking at 2 seconds. Diamond Dust is still gonna have 3 seconds of cooldown after this. But if you're not- if you're not wearing Tempest's Shadow Gear in official Cairo, then you're not doing damage on a mage. It's just not gonna happen. So while the AB stuff is nice and all for like tertiary stuff and it lets you do some content, there's just gonna be some content that's gonna wall you unless you switch your shadow gear back to uh, Tempest, basically. Uh, the Soul Reaper one is cool. It, it decreases the cooldown of Soul Reap. Uh, Star Emperor one decreases documents. Also, that works well with the Racing Cap, which also does that. Racing Cap for Soul Reaper also does that. It's really good. And hey, Doram Magical Armor. What's that? Reduces the cooldown of Silver Vine Stem Spear. <gasps> it's almost like phys magical Dorams have gear that they're supposed to have. <gasps> Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it would be. Okay, so it'd be one second. Yeah. Oops. Oops, one second cooldown. That's still not, like, super spammable. I can understand why people might have an issue with this because of PvP, but... Chat, uh... Kero doesn't really care about PvP. If you want to protect PvP, do that on your own terms. Don't bog the game down because of it. Come on. Uh, but that's that's pretty much the stream for today. Thanks guys for coming out. We got 30 seconds left um, Oh, yeah, no, it's way better than three seconds. That's definitely so you could actually make a water build Sork and DPS with that 
That's cool. And then when you need to have MDEF here, so you can just simply change the weapon. Uh, but yeah, thanks for guys for coming out to the stream. Uh, hopefully this vi this footage is usable because I am gonna make a uh, video on these skills. A lot of new updates. I th I'm I know a lot of people are gonna be upset about Bard and uh, their usual like what they're used to doing, but I think this is a positive change. These classes, the first and second jobs, definitely feel a lot better than they did. It, just like it's night and day it's really really different uh just how much i mean there are other ways to get mdef here so it's you don't have to get the class shadow or you don't have to get tempest but trading out that tempest is a very big sacrifice i just wanted to make that clear that much like yeah night is really good now i felt like before Renewal on second jobs and first jobs didn't really feel good. Uh, for example, in Mage, the only usable skill in that whole class was Fireball. Everything else had such so long cast times that it was just like you might as well not use it. It was just Fireball all the way. There was no reason to use anything but Fireball. And then in the same vein, you have classes like Rogue, which really didn't age well. And, you know, uh, Backstab has felt janky for years. It really has. And that's a super cool update as well. And it actually gives, you know, some purpose for these skills to exist outside of uh, meme builds. I'm kind of, for as for endgame stuff, definitely see Spiral is going to be a thing. Oh yeah, absolutely Spiral is going to be a thing. I wonder if, um, oh yeah, no, they would still have that. So Spiral is going to be a thing, but again, it's going to be harder to get after Castellay now. So we're going to have to think about this. We're going to have to remake our builds. It's going to be a whole lot of things that we're going to, it's, it's a huge change, chat. Huge. Tremendous. Unbelievable. Do you guys like my impression? I, 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 you'll know who it is. <laughs> my arms are flailing, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, Rip Bard, unfortunate. Again, Chad, I've said for a while that Bard is the most broken class in Ragnarok. Absolutely, ridiculously broken. Completely melts the game in their favor. 100% of the way. And they've always done it. Uh, yes, you can er, slash W will tell you how many players are online. Looks like it's about 70 right now. So, uh, I know a lot of people that are waiting on the sidelines for that world key to open. So, I'm kind of curious how the... The player count will increase when that comes out, because I know a lot of people have some issues with, um... Hold on. I know a lot of people have some issues with, uh, these things. And they don't, they don't want to even look at them, so, yeah. Uh, I'm super hyped for that. I will see you guys tomorrow, 4 p.m. EST, for some... I think I'll be playing some Soul Worker. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll probably be voting on what the next B-side is, B-side game is, and I can play some Soul Worker while we're voting on that. The non-big wig servers. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, uh, I will see you guys then. 4 p.m. EST. You know where to reach me. Don't forget to check out YouTube, Twitter, Discord, all down in in the panels below. It's good stuff. Check it out, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.